All right, give me your name and rank, and what is your job? Uh, I am A1C Phillips, and I am a 4031, which is an aerospace med technician. Okay, and what does that consist of? Uh, so basically, we're the equivalent to a civilian nurse. So we give IVs, we do blood draws, we give certain medications, we'll do things like bed baths and stuff of that nature. Okay, great. Uh, and you actually came into uh, basic training with this job, yes? Yes. Were you pretty excited about it? I was definitely excited. I went to go into the medical field after I um, get out of the military, so this was a very good like stepping stone to get where I want to go. Okay. Um, obviously, with anything to do uh, with hospitals and things like that, I'm sure you get some kind of certifications for things. Mm -hmm. So what certifications uh, have you got so far? So two big ones that we got right off the bat once you start tech school is your BLS, which is basic life support. So that's basically CPR. It's a one-day class. It's very simple. Um, and then our next one is the EMT certification. So basically that class is six weeks and um, there's about, it's split up into six sections. So you basically just learn about um, like respirations for an adult, a toddler, um, and you'll learn about things like how to administer an NRB, which is just a mask to help people breathe better. So. All right, cool. And that's just in tech school. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been in the Air Force so far? Uh, I've been in since January. Okay. I went to basic in January. And this is September, so nine months. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, and then you you actually were just telling me that you get another certification once you get to your base after a little bit. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So um, how we're looking, because we are, so right as of right now, we aren't allowed to really once we get out, go into a civilian hospital and start working. So we're going to be moving towards getting our LPN, li LPN license so that we can be able to work in a... What is LPN? Um, so it's just like a, it's just a nurse license, basically. Okay. Um, so you also went to two different tech schools, correct? Yes. And why is that? Okay, so um, the first part of my tech school was Fort Sam, which is in Texas. That was basically where we went through our courses, such as like um, EMT and nursing. So that's basically where we took most of our classes. My second part of my tech school was at Wright Pat Air Force Base, which is in Ohio. And that's where you do more of hands on, so you'll be able to actually go into a hospital and actually put IVs in patients, like just interact with patients and interact with um, other medical technicians who have been in longer than you. And that was probably extremely helpful to actually be able to get that hands-on experience. It definitely was. You don't get a lot in your first part of tech school, so going in, it you learn even more than what you did, I would say, in your, the first part of tech school. Okay. And kind of give me a breakdown on a daily basis what you guys actually do in tech school. Uh, so at Fort mm -hmm. Sam, our schedules was uh, 7 to 4, so that's where we had class. We would usually, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, we would usually get up earlier for PT, and then we would, after PT, as a super flight, we would all head to class. Um, and then after you finished class at about four, you had the rest of the day to yourself. You had weekends to yourself as well. Um, in phase two, it was basically the same. You worked a seven to four as well. Um, it was basically just like you going to work. So it wasn't more of like just school-wise. So you could get off earlier in phase two. You could go in later. It just, it just depends. Okay, very nice. Uh, and where are you being stationed at? Uh, Lackland, Texas. And where did you go to basic training at? Uh, Lackland, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, obviously, it's a whole different side of things. Basic training has its whole other section in Lackland. So you're going to be working on the permanent, what we call the permanent party side of Lackland. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a really nice base. 
Did you get to see any part of Lackland besides the basic training part? Uh, I didn't, but I have talked to a lot of like doctors and things like that who have worked in Lackland, and especially for the medical field, Lackland is a very it's somewhere you, that you would want to work because in the Air Force, I believe that it's like the number one trauma center. So you definitely get to see a lot, and especially with being a four and O, you will actually be able to do a lot more than any other base here in the state. Very cool. So I'm very excited for you. Um, anything else you want to add to people that are thinking about medical terms coming into um, the Air Force? Like, would you recommend your job as their number one pick, or is there specifics on what people are interested in? Uh, there are different areas, like you could go in and be a physical therapy, so there's jobs if you're very interested in physical therapy, or even if you are not really sure if you want to go into the medical field, you could work as admin, and they all still go to Fort Sam, so that's still where they go for their um, tech school. So. Okay. And what do you think about the Air Force so far? Um, I enjoy it. I didn't think I would going into it. I came right out of high school, so I was still kind of like thrown Nervous. into the world. <laughs> but <laughs> I've definitely learned a lot and being able to talk to people, especially higher ranking than me, who have had a lot more experience, it has definitely helped me grow like as a person and especially going towards what I do want to become afterwards. Well, thank you very much, Emma Phillips. It's going to be very helpful.